Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll be discussing the topic of college and cats, and if a feline will make a good pet during those college years. Before we grab our books and head on out the door, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats make good pets for college students. They groom themselves, don't require much attention, are smaller than dogs, and don't need to go on walks. They can be litter trained, learn to entertain themselves, and don't require expensive toys. Many breeds are hypoallergenic and spend a large part of the day napping. That makes them great when you're in a small dorm, have a busy schedule, or need to share space with a roommate. Before we continue, it's time to acknowledge a couple of elephants in the room. Elephant one, campus policy. If you're living in a dorm, it is imperative that you make sure that a cat is allowed, any pets for that matter, while having a cat comes with several pros and cons, the biggest con that can squash this entire idea is campus policy. So, before you do anything, make sure that a cat is allowed in your dorm room. Elephant number two, are you residing in an apartment off campus? If so, it then becomes imperative to know their pet policy. Can you have animals at the apartment? Here again, this whole thing is moot. If you haven't been given the green light to proceed, please check policy before bringing a cat into your living space. Another concern involves the cat itself in respect to ownership. Are you looking to adopt a cat during your college years or are you bringing your pet cat from home with you to college? This is important because the differences can be quite stark. It's much easier to pack up your family pet and take them with you to college than it is to welcome a brand new cat into your life with a dorm or apartment as the living space. Having to get used to a cat and having them get used to you during the college years can be a struggle for everyone involved. And you know what's not a struggle? You. <laughs> You're not a struggle. We thank you for showing up and showing out, showing appreciation for you. That's not a struggle. We're happy that you've joined us for another video. We realize that you could be just about anywhere right now, yet you've taken a few minutes out of your day to join us. And for that, we are truly grateful. We thank you for your support and your viewership. Now, felines and financial aid. How about that? Are cats good pets for college students? Let's take a closer look. Taking care of a feline while in college can be beneficial for many reasons. Companionship and responsibility being the two biggest pros. A cat can also help you better learn how to manage money. There are many things beyond the obvious that can be learned from caring for a cat while you're in school. Little life lessons, some more obvious than others. Let's take a quick look at some notable pros and cons. As for the positives, by and large, cats are less expensive than dogs, not only when it comes to an initial price tag, but also ownership in general. This is certainly helpful if you're in college and on a rather tight budget. Cats are also less hyperactive, at least for the most part, compared to dogs. They are less noisy and love their naps. This is good for a dorm or an apartment, less fuss. That's not only good for you, but also good for your roommates and neighbors. In many ways, speaking to the prior point, cats are relatively low maintenance. This is good. This is very good. They don't need a ton of your time, which is key after all. This is college, right? You'll spend a bulk of your day out of your room, either in class, participating in campus functions, or having a good night out with your friends. As long as your cat has plenty of food, water, and a place to relax and sleep, they really don't need you. And this is key. And referring back to the point we made in our introduction, if your college feline is indeed your pet from home, they'll probably be a bit more behaved as a general rule simply because, yeah, they know you. Now, let's transition to some cons, shall we? First up, cats are still fairly expensive. Now, while that could be somewhat of a loose con, it's worth mentioning because some young people do find themselves on a very strict budget. And while cats are less expensive than dogs, less expensive certainly does not mean free Cat litter and cat food in a monthly purchase can certainly add up, especially if you have very little money coming in. Once you factor in vet checkups and vaccinations, things can get quite expensive, especially for a college student. The second con is that cats can be messy. Not all, but some cats can be quite messy. Loose litter and fur are the obvious, but a curious cat can potentially wreck your living space. Knocking over things while you're away can be a problem. A messy cat can also potentially take aim at your classwork some valuable projects. The very last thing you want is for your cat to eat your homework, quite literally in some cases. And speaking of messy, another con involves the destruction of furniture. 
Even the cutest and sweetest cat in the world will need to scratch and sharpen those claws. And without a proper scratching post, your feline could take aim at your sofa. Your cat could also take aim at some of your roommate's belongings. And let's be honest, stuff like that can sour a friendship in a great big hurry. And as a bit of a side note, roommate, hello roommate. <laughs> yeah, always be considerate of how that aspect of the equation could play out as any number of these cons could and probably will negatively impact everyone in your living space. In respect to the best cats for college, the objectives go a little something like this. Short hair, hypoallergenic qualities, small in stature, and calm demeanor. While these qualities will not guarantee success by default, you'll at least hit the ground running with a winning edge. And here again, is this your cat from home or are you adopting? If you already have a cat, these qualities do not apply, but they could still work. Everything could still work out. Never underestimate the bond that has already been made. In many cases, that bond will trump most everything else. This is especially true if you'll be living alone in college. With all of that said, here are some promising breeds. Sphinx, exotic shorthair, British shorthair, and Persian. Before we close things out for this video, it is worth noting once more that it is imperative, absolutely imperative, to know the campus dorm and apartment policy. Can you have a cat in the dorm? Can you have a cat in the apartment? Know the rules above all, all else. Every, <laughs> all else, above all else. And here again, while we recommend bringing your cat from home to college compared to adopting, the final choice is obviously yours, and we respect that 100%. It's all about what you want and what you can handle. Having said that, the existing bond with your cat is a powerful thing. And that bond is simply something you will not have with a new cat in a new environment. Just keep that in mind. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video side of life. However, if you'd like to know more information about this somewhat unique topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've talked about today and so much more. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the article in question. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.